logged out and thought, okay, maybe it's installed. It didn't install. Then I went in, went back in, and then in here I was like, okay, let's try yay for yay. I tried the yay command and I did not have yay installed. So I went through the rabbit hole of installing yay again. So that was the dumpster fire that happened when I tried to install Hyperland on Dark Linux without any video tutorials. But in this one, we are trying to explore the config file of Hyperland to see how it customizes and how everything comes together to make this window manager work. So if you're new to the channel, then subscribe and let's get right into it. The first thing that you will notice in here is monitor. So that is the first thing that you may notice. And this one is the monitor number. This is the resolution and this is the offset. Now the offset is a bit tricky. So I'll try to explain it the best of my abilities. So let's get visual on this. So let's say we have two monitors. This is my configuration and it follows this corner right here. So if we have both of them zero, they will overlap, which we don't want. If you want to move this onto this side of the monitor, we have to move 1920 pixels offset. And this is the same as doing this right here. Now, a thing you have to understand is we are following these two corners right here. So we are offsetting one corner from the other one. Now, if we have, you can see right here that I, on my second monitor, I have 1920x0, which means that the second monitor is moved 1920 pixels from the center or in the x-axis so the first one is the x-axis then second one is the y-axis hope that explains it if it doesn't there is a nice documentation about it and this part right here is your program so you can set variables here anything that has a dollar sign on it is a variable so you can uh, have variables if you have something that you may change along the way or maybe a program that you are using temporarily and you want to just say, configure everything so you understand how it works so this is where you would add a uh, variable for that program so in here you can see you can change it so i change it to kitty you can use whichever terminal you want by changing it right here as it is configured in the config file so now uh, you can see that the file manager you can change and this line is added by me so i added the browser so I can change the browser if I want to change it along the way. Then we have the menu which I'm using Rufy for. So stay along for the next video where I install a bunch of applications for Happyland to get things moving along. Now after that we have the auto start section. So if we have application that we want to auto start or start as soon as the system boots up, this is the section where we will add it. As you can see there are examples here that we can follow and for the moment I have only one which is Hyperpaper and this is basically the wallpaper manager for, for Hyperland and again in the next video I will explain how to install and run that. Now the variable section I am a bit confused on again this is like me also explaining and also learning myself so I don't understand it fully but uh, as far as I think it's mostly if we want to use kind of like a global variable or something that is already in use and we want to use it among our applications we can set those up in this section right here but again i don't have an understanding or a clear understanding on how this part works but you can add this line right here to make sure kd applications follow your theme so if you have a theme that is installed onto your hyperland system uh, which i don't have at the moment uh, you can add this line and I just saw this somewhere <laughs> and I don't actually again I don't know how this clearly works but we will dive deeper onto each of these sections as we go along now this is the part that is most interesting which is the look and feel so every section in here you can see there's a caps there's border sizes so we can play around with these numbers to make sure how each thing looks and how each of them works now most of these things are kind of self-explanatory so you don't have to go too deep to understand what they do so for example i'm changing border now if i want to change color size or colors we, i can do that here the first color is more of like uh, so this follows a gradient so if you want a solid color you can just set both of them the same and there are eight digits the first six digits um, correspond to r g and b and the last one is the alpha or how transparent the color is and in the last part is the degree of gradient that it follows so however aggressive degree you have it will follow that so as you can see it's again quite simple to customize 
this part at least but it will get more advanced as we go along these videos where uh, we go deeper into customizing hyperland now this part is inactive border so if a window is inactive or you are not actively uh, selected that will uh, correspond to that then we have a resize on border so this is basically uh, to resize without holding the windows and right click which is kindly used to resize it if we set this to true so if we just do that real quick that means we can just resize by holding on to the uh, bar right here so it makes it a bit easier but i don't particularly want to use it uh, i'll just keep it at false just to get, you know develop a muscle memory for using the windows key okay so that's about uh wraps up everything now i am a bit confused on the tearing part so if you, any of you are like really like, familiar of how this tearing thing works like, again i don't understand this tearing part really well so yeah i'm also a bit confused on how this works so this is me just uh, checking what each of these does and what they do but this is a layout so how the layout is so in the window layout any window you have selected with when you create a new window it will just split that active window and you know, just add another window there so that is basically what dwindle does when there is the master which will see they have one window like one large window at the side and anything you create new will push that larger window onto its side so it's a bit more predictable and again it, it makes it a bit easier to use but uh, i do change it uh, on the uh, next one so again subscribe to the channel to see that as well now in this part this is the decoration so how the overall system looks and the roundness is uh, how sharp your corners are and i am i don't understand this rounding power thing so i'm also <laughs> a bit confused on it uh, what the rounding power means so yeah but <laughs> as soon as i type 20 everything just goes haywire so that's something then we have active opacity and inactive opacity so if something is inactive it will uh, be a bit transparent which uh, it looks nice to me so i just have to have it a bit transparent so 0.9 so that's almost minuscule but it kind of like made it look a bit nicer then we have a render power so this part like from this point on uh, i was like overall a bit confused on what everything is so yeah i was also a bit lost and this is the animation section which i will not be covering in this video i will do this again when we are covering everything and slowly but surely we'll build up to the knowledge of hyperland and if we do everything in one video we will get crazy <laughs> we will be crazy in one video so don't worry about it too much uh, whatever you've seen now uh, you can play around with it then we have the key binds so this is the part that is really interesting and really useful so you can add custom key binds to for specific programs that you want to use and for programs you just have to type in the exact command which means execute so basically you are typing in the terminal the same thing as typing in the terminal when you do the exact command and there are other special commands in here so i would recommend you kind of memorizing or uh, getting used to using these commands so that's about it for this video there is a lot more to cover in here again i would like you to and play around with every value that you've seen in this video and hope you guys find it more interesting as we go along and build up a hyper hyperland system of our own i don't want this series to be kind of like one of those tutorial series which just tells them you to which just tells you to download a dot file of their uh, hyperland configuration well obviously i will release the dot files after i figure out how to uh, how to hyperland I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you are already using hyperland and what kind of configuration you are using i'll see you guys in the next one bye